the Moo Moo Presents. And then the man said, You will never be able to eat fast food again for the rest of your life. Uh, that is the worst story I've ever heard. Yeah, that sucked. That was amazing, Seriously, JD. You, you guys got to be scared a little bit. No. I was terrified. Not, that not was scary. not scary. You call that a scary story? Yeah. I have a scary story for you. It happened in this very cabin 70 years ago. My great, 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 great grandpappy was having a dinner party. It was a night like tonight. It was snowing, there was a fire, and there was murder. <gasps> Moo -mo murder! This is the story of my great great grandpappy, Reginald Corpus. Right there, so I told the man, listen, that is the last time you'll ever be able to eat a restaurant ever again. <laughs> Reg, what do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. He's shocked. Oh, 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 come on, man. Have a good laugh then. Oh, good heavens. Oh, my. No. Oh, oh Charlie, I'm scared. Oh, that's not for oh. us. Well, well. There's a dead man sitting across from us. Yeah, we've got a situation on our hands here. Of course, there's a dead man sitting across from us. Haven't you ever been to the movie theater? No. Once or twice. Yes, this is exactly what happens in the movies. And you know what else you have to, have to do? Is figure out who the culprit is. What are you saying? There's six of us in this room. Yeah. That means that one of us is the culprit. <gasps> well, no, well, don't make hasty decisions. Don't be ridiculous. Right, right. Before we start accusing each other, we must figure out exactly what our game plan is going to be. I know what that game plan is going to be. Because I've done official paperwork, official statements. I've said things, read things, written things. So, with that said, the party of the first part, the party of the second part, and the party of the third part shall be the party that investigate any paranormal activities, criminal activities, or things out of the ordinary. Oh, Johnny, you're so smart. Yeah, thank you, what was the piece? I talked about the part. I think he's saying we should search the house. <gasps> we yes, should what? split up. Yes, we should. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes, and we should go anywhere that we hear scary noises. Exactly. Right, and, 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 and search in the complete darkness. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. right. Um, the basement lights don't work, so we'll go down there first, you know? Yeah, that'll be the part of the first part. Yes. All the first part. Um, I guess we'll search upstairs. All right, that'll be the part of the second part. And we'll be the part of the third part. We'll search right here where it's safe. Right, darling? Are we all agreed? Yes. 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 Now let's go. Oh, if you uh, see anything, don't shout out. You just ask, what are you? Who are you? Right. Um, okay, so with the inflection, would it be, um, what are you? Who are you? Or what, what, like, what are you? Who are you? I think the inflection would go up. Right. Yeah, right, because then it'd be a little bit inconspicuous and you can run in, bottom on the head if you have to, and then get out of here. I think that's a valid point. <laughs> what do you think? Absolutely, John. All right. Then we're all agreed. We'll meet back here once we investigate. Brilliant. Right. 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 We need to use the patch. So we're going uh, downstairs. Yes, we are. We'll find a light. A light. We'll find a light. Um, a oh, oh, lantern! How convenient! That'll do, that'll do nicely. Uh, oh, need something to light it with. Matches, yeah, right? matches. Somebody's intelligent. Let's go. Oh, you know what? These aren't very good now. Ha! Oh no. You know, they make these difficult to work with. Oh. This is oh, why God. Americans invented electricity. Okay. Let's go now, my dear. Oh, it's gonna be so scary. Into the darkness, my love. We'll figure it out. Here we go, Patrick Malloy. Really? And what <gasps> are you? Who are you? Oh, he has drinks. Well, unless there's drinks, I guess this isn't a bad situation then. Uh, did you see anyone scary? Uh, was it a man? Well, was it a woman? Was it a child? 
Uh, was well, it a human? I got an Oscar answer. Do you do you speak words or do you just like move your head around? Great. Oh, I don't think he's gonna be very much help. No, he's not. So. What? <gasps> here at all. And the rummy's gone! <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> all right, then, you know, forget that, forget Mr. Carpus. Let's have a drink, shall we? Okay. These are, oh, these are tall. Here, let me help you out. Thank you. Oh, and... See, he's just red arms like this, and I know what I'm talking about. Nothing in here, my dear. Oh, Johnny, I'm so scared! I know. Oh, food pantry, and there's always something in there, but there's nothing in there now. Stop it. You know you didn't do it. I know I didn't do it. But someone did it. That means there's someone else here. We gotta figure out who it is. Oh, Johnny! Exactly. Well, you know what they say about those English folk. Exactly what I was thinking. Do you know how to find a culprit? You start asking questions. You ask anything. Everything. You're trying to figure out something that will make them slip out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So, um, so the window's over there. So, right. Um, yeah, let's check this last room. All right. So, okay, darling. Yes. You open the door when I count to three. Okay. Then I'll run in, butt one ahead, and, um, if I need you, I'll give you a ring. Okay, ready? Right. One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh, are you all right? Sorry. Oh, right. Okay, Charlie. Give me a bit of help. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. Are Charlie. you okay? No, that hurts. Oh, right. Mr. David. Mr. David. Oh, gosh. Mr. David. Oh, I'm on the back of the head. I'm so sorry, love. Mr. David. What? Um, what is your relationship to uh, Reginald? What's my, what's my relationship to Reginald? What's your relationship to Reginald? Listen. We're all pals. We've been pals for years. Listen, we got company together. It's one of those, um, what do you call it here? Um, steel. Steel. Oh, right. Yeah, steel. steel industries. Steel. Exactly. But thieves? Yeah. No, 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 not steel lane. Like, like steel, like uh, metal. Right, so he's got competition, right? Oh, not that company. Uh, what was it, sweetie? Was it a uh, Jester Shredder? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Right. Yeah. And then we're subcontractor for Subcontract his company. Exactly. I told you it was competition. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, no, not competition. It's right. we're working with his company, Blue yeah. Steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come down here. We're asking some more questions. All right. Um, okay, yeah. Listen. Yeah. Wait. Uh, you stay here. I'll be back. Um, keep your talking. Oh, okay. If you need me, give me a ring. Will do. Listen, good sir. Yes. I don't take lightly to you, um, disrespecting me in front of my wife. I'm not disrespecting you, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, by asking me a question, you're, you're making me look like you. I think you're getting offended by me asking a question. Okay, Mr. Mustache, I've got a question for you. Oh, what's your question? What's your relationship with this man? He's my cousin. you got to be kidding me. He's yeah, my cousin, you that's right. That's right. So how is that going to do that then? Oh, he helped me with my airplane work. Alright, well at least, let's at least be civilised about it, okay? Well, you don't have to go shouting about it all over the town. Sir, sir, who's, who's not civilised? Are you having a row without me? I wasn't talking to Stop, stop. Right, I'm not now you. continue. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. Wait, well we have more stuff in it. No, 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 Oh, I don't like that room either. Okay. Listen, 
Shabby shacks. All right. So all we're here. Let's figure out what we found out. You. Yeah. We know your story. What? Well, sure. You. Right. What's your relationship to Reginald? Oh, well, my husband hates him. He uh, burned down part of our oil, or not oil. He, with oil, burned down part of our ships. Goodness. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But okay. Um. Uh, so you have reason to have qualms. Well, tell me this story, you know, what's going on? Well, what's uh, really insane is, uh, well, we had an oyster shipping company up in Galway, you know, and, uh, and uh, he, was, he was a business associate for a while and managed to uh, set fire to several ships and several million dollars worth of profit. All right, then. Oh, nice. so, so, you have reason to want to kill him. You have reason. To want to kill him, I told you. Hey, 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 well, what about you? Right, you say you're related to the bloke. Well, check it, this is Rich. Speaking of Rich, last member of family, right? Maybe you're trying to pop him off and get a little bit of his money? Oh, oh Johnny! Really? You got his heir. I might be an heir, but I'm not going to kill him for his money. Oh, we are. No, why not? You never know. No, well, let's lay down the facts, shall we? What did you find downstairs? Oh, 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 there was an old man. Old but man. Uh, he was very strange. He, he didn't smell like an old man. He smelled like lilacs and cotton. Shall we ask? Yes. Oh, and he, he disappeared very quickly and very peculiarly. Very peculiarly as well. He just gone. Gone. Yes, darling, no. Okay, item number one That's old cool. man smells like a woman. Gone. Item number two what were you carrying? Well, I was carrying a pool cue. Pool cue. Yeah. All right. Item number two then. Pool cue, what happened up there? Oh, well, we would check the rooms and yeah. the, he got hit in the back of the head. Right, because I checked the bathroom and to see if he was in there. He wasn't in there. We slipped. Oh, you know, back of the head. It, it was just an accident. Yeah, right. And what, item number three. What did you scream about? Uh, there was something in the laundry chute. Laundry chute? Yes. Old man, pool, pool cue, and laundry chute. Yes. So what do these things have in common? What are you getting at? I think. I think. That one of us was the old man. <gasps> no! Yes. Johnny! Yes, I think it's true. I think that the one person in here who wanted all the money, all the fame, all whatever Reginald had, was in this room and posed as the old man, smelled like a woman. Figure that one out. Pool cue! Oh, you just happened to get hit on the head. Well, I think that there's a more reasonable explanation for that. Thirdly, laundry chute from the upper room to the basement. Hmm, how did someone get down to the basement to pose as the old man? That's a good question. Don't tell me this is ridiculous, because I think it's very feasible that someone here could have pulled all of this off and had plans to kill every single one of us. <gasps> no, Johnny! You're kidding me. It's all right. It's all right, my dear, because I have figured out who did it. I think that the final culprit is Bob. Bob? Is he Oh, oh is no. He dead? He's oh dead. He's dead. He's oh, dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What happened? What's, What's the, the story? What's the no. Yeah. <clears throat> the butler did it. What? What? Oh. No. You serious? There was a butler. <laughs> that's that's insane. That makes so I much see sense. That I'm done. I'm okay. Thank okay. Right. Oh. Good night. That was a plot twist if I ever heard one. Of course the butler did it. Oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you know, it's never the butler. That's the crazy thing about it. Shut up, JD. What? That is my favorite story. Get it! <laughs> <laughs>